Hi everyone, welcome back to LTF1 with me, Ishan. You may or may not have noticed, probably not. I've not been on the last... <coughs> I'm dying. I've just recovered from Covid. I've not been on our last two or three videos. And yeah, I'm just about back. I'm just about alive. And hello again. I was supposed to be joined today by Raj in all his Aston Martin merchandise he's just bought. He's bought a, 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 a Sebastian Vettel t-shirt and a Sebastian Vettel hat. He looked beautiful, but... Unfortunately, technical limitations stopped us from being able to record today and he had to run to work, so maybe next time. But yeah, into today's video, I'm going to be talking about Alfa Romeo and the future of, well, what they're doing next. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of rumours at the minute, you know, is Kimi going? Is Kimi staying next year? Giovinazzi? I think he's done a good job. Is he going? Is he staying? So, yeah. So, anyway... What will happen next season? Because so far, you know, I think personally, I don't think Giovinazzi deserves to go. I don't think, I don't really think that Kimi deserves to go either, if we're being real. I think with the car they've got, which is, let's be honest, I like Alfa Romeo, but it's a bang average car. It's not really, you know, I can see it and it has been challenging and Kimi especially has been challenging for points, but you know, what more do people really expect out of them kind of thing? Like, I'm sure most, I'm sure this is a popular opinion, but I think that, I think that Kimi Raikkonen's done a good job this year. You know, I think he's been a solid enough driver. You know, he does the job. He comes home, you know, points here and there, generally sort of challenging. So what more can really be asked of him? if uh, Alfa Romeo don't decide to renew his contract. Same sort of story with Giovinazzi. As much as, yeah, he's not as, you know, Kimi Raikkonen's in a different league to him, but he's done a good job. He's done solid. He's, I think that's my opinion anyway. I don't know whether that's popular or unpopular, but it's my opinion. I don't think he... I think the only sort of window of opportunity for him going, personally, should be if Bottas becomes available. You know, Akshar, <laughs> Akshar sent me his predictions the other day. He thinks it's going to be a Bottas Eilat lineup for Alfa Romeo next year. I don't agree. I think if one of the two of them, one out of the two of them, sorry, is on the chopping block, if I had to choose one, because as I said, I know they've both, in my opinion, done a good job, or at least a solid job. On the chopping block, it should be Giovinazzi, in my opinion. Kimi Raikkonen, yes, I know he's getting old. I know he's past it but he's still a good driver he does a good job you know he does a solid enough job I think he's still got another two or three years in him I don't think age should be a question that people are asking so much and I know at the start of the season I'm a hypocrite for this because I did with Fernando Alonso but look at the job he's doing it's been solid so far it's been consistently good and the same with Raikkonen I think he has another maybe two three years maximum left in him so next year for me I would like to see uh, Bottas and Raikkonen lining up for um, Alfa Romeo. I think that'd be a good, strong lineup. Two, you know, good enough drivers that will bring home the occasional point or two. And yeah, it'll as as long as it's a competitive car, which maybe that's you know maybe that's why Alfa Romeo want to upgrade their drivers next year for you know better drivers because who knows you know they could be anticipating a much better car next year that'll be much more competitive i don't know only alfa romeo know so <laughs> yeah uh on to my next talking point on the topic of bottas i know we've milked the topic to death on this channel talking about him and mercedes and george russell so we're not going to stay away from george russell today but according to akshar i don't know if any legitimate sources are reporting this but according to the akshar news <laughs> um next season there could be the potential for um, Checo Perez to be leaving Red Bull I don't think he will I don't think Red Bull will do that I think it'd be a stupid move for them Akshar's read that Helmut Marco said something or other you know he might have done I don't know ask Akshar but I don't think it will happen and if it does you know um, who would replace him who would, who would do the same job the only person I can think of and I know we've slandered him a lot I haven't, Akshar has. But Bottas to Red Bull, 
you know, it sounds crazy, but crazier things have happened. Could it happen? Who knows? You know, we're already talking about this. We're only halfway through the season yet, but it could be a shout if Akshar's sources are correct. I don't know if they are. But, yeah, let us know what you think, you know. Um, what, what do you th well, Tell me what you think. Comment down below, you know, do you think Bottas can, you know, fill a seat at Red Bull and do a job as good as Perez? I think they'd be stupid for letting Perez go. He's been consistently good this year. I know in qualifying he's not been amazing, but he'll get there. He's been, you know, he's proved a lot of people wrong. I'm having flashbacks of some tweets I saw on F1 Twitter in sort of November, December time. But <laughs> yeah, um, I think I th think they'd be stupid for letting him go. And if they bring Bottas in, I don't think he'll do as good a job. I think he'd do a solid job, but you know, yeah. Let us know what you think down below. Do you think Kimi Raikkonen's time is now for him to leave? I don't. Let me know what you think. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. It was just a quick one today. I'm still coughing a bit you know I'm still recovering from Covid hopefully next time I won't be talking to myself in my uh well in the computer room talking to myself hopefully I'll have Akshar and Raj maybe to join us so yeah let us know what you think as I've said a million times about uh Alfa Romeo next season what do you think the airline up will be next year do you think Perez will stay at Red Bull what do you think let us know down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a bit short and it's just me talking to myself, talking to my phone. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you again, maybe at the weekend. Thank you. Oh yeah, whilst I'm here, I was just about to stop recording. But remember to follow us on Twitter at LTF1Official and on Instagram at LTF1Official. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.